All right, so today we are going to build a tabs a tab system with React right there. Okay, it's pretty simple to do, and you don't need some dependencies or thing like that. You will see that it's pretty simple. So this is the working uh, project. I put the code in description, and this is where we are going to begin. So yeah, just put that on the right, and here we are in VS Code with a pretty simple create React app. Okay, there is an app.js which is importing tabs and there is tabs component right there, okay? So what is going on here, there is a container, okay? With some tabs at the top, with a tabs container if you want. And there is some content uh, container right there um, beneath it, okay? So there is tabs, there is content, and we need to show the content uh, which is relative to the good tab, okay? When you click on it. So we are going to do that with some class, active tabs and active content. Okay, so here when we arrive on our hub, there is the first tab and the first content displayed. So there is active tabs on the first uh, tabs and active content on the first content. And active content, um, it's just doing a display block. So from display none to display block. And active tabs, um, we just bring some color and some pseudo elements at the top to do some nice little uh, animation like that. Okay. So how can we make this animation works? Uh, well, every time you are with React, you always need to think about state, state, state. Every time you need to do an animation, an interaction or thing like that, well, you need to think about state. Sometimes you don't need state, like for um, adding an add event listener to the window object, for example, but most of the times you need to uh, think uh, state first. So we do have a use state right there. We import use state and we are going to create uh, some state. So right there, const toggle state, toggle state, for example, and set toggle state equal use state one. Okay, our state will have the value one to begin. Okay, so toggle state is equal to one and set toggle state is the function to uh, change our state, okay, to update our state. Great. Now we do want that every time you we hit the tab, we want something to happen. So um, I'm, go I'm going to present this like that. On click, equal, on click, equal, toggle tab. It will be a simple function right there, okay, simple arrow function. Const to toggle tab equal arrow function. And we are just going to log hello world just to begin. Okay, great. I don't know why it's not uh, perfectly tapped, but whatever. So yeah, the console right there, if you click there, you have the hello world. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. And um, right there, it's nice, but I want it to show the index, I want it to show the index of our tab. So I want it to show uh, one, two and three. So I need to call my um, function right there with an anonymous function. Look at that. Okay, so anonymous function is calling that function. And now I can pass some parameter, some arguments. Okay, so I can pass one right there. There I put the index parameter and I can log it. Look, now I can click on it and there is one appearing right there. Okay, there is one right there. So that's nice. Now I, I can display the index of my tab. So that's pretty nice. When you want to add some arguments to, um, to a function right there, you need to call it in your GSX with an anonymous function. Okay, this is a pretty nice uh, technique to, to do. Okay, so now do we, we do have our index, we can set our state to uh, that index actually with set toggle state. Okay, so we are just going to do that. Okay, so that's nice. And you can just copy, uh, copy that and just uh, display it right there. On click, okay. And just uh, mash tab, okay, to make it look better. Ah, okay, great. So now you can put that down and every time you need just to change the index right there. So two and three. So now every time you click on a tab, you are changing the state to a one, two or three. Okay, one, two, three. That's perfect. And the logic is done. Now we do need to change the class conditionally. Okay, with a ternary operator. So you add uh, right there. Um, oh, what, oh, what is the state? Uh, toggle state. 
toger state strictly equal to one. If it's true, then you are going to add um, tabs and active tabs. If it's not, you are just going to add tabs right there. Okay. And now you can take that and put it right there and right there. Okay. So now if, if toggle state is strictly equal to two and if toggle state is strictly equal to three. And if you have um, another tab like four, five, six, seven, you just have to change uh, that number every time. So it's pretty easy to do. Okay. So now look, look, it's working. If I click, I'm updating the state and I'm updating the class name right there every time. So this is working. This is pretty simple to do actually. You don't need any dependencies or thing like that. And now that we have the tab, you can change the content conditionally, uh, like it will be just the same right there. Okay, so you can mm, just show it like that. Okay, and if toggle state is strictly equal to one, then you will add here content and active content if it's not if it's not just content okay and you can do it with every content right there and right there okay so if it's strictly equal to two and to three and it's done look at that it's working perfectly okay every time you do have the content one for tab one content two for tab two content three for tab three okay so yeah um, I haven't seen so I haven't seen is this correct? Oh, I don't know actually. I haven't seen so many uh, videos about, about tabs with React and every time in a, every blog post or everything they, they are trying to make you install some dependencies but you can do it in Vanilla React actually and it's pretty fun to do so yeah this is why I'm just showing you that video. So see you next time for another cool tricks. Bye.